Dear friends, we find ourselves in Tisha B'Av, in the saddest day of the Jewish year, when we mourn the destruction of both temples, <clears throat> 490 years apart, the second one destroyed in the year 70 AD or Common Era. And as we know that it's not just the destruction that we mark, but it's about the rebuilding and the ability to be able to begin the process which happened over 1950 years ago through our actions, mitzvahs, dedication, rebuilding the third temple with the coming of Mashiach, one that will never be destroyed and will spread throughout the world with its light and message. And this week's Torah portion, Va'eschanan, we repeat the Ten Commandments. Moshe repeats the Ten Commandments that God had spoken to the Jewish people of Mount Sinai. And after repeating the Ten Commandments, he describes some of the effects that were surrounding the giving over of the Ten Commandments. And he uses the word that was called Godol Velo Yosaf. It was a great voice that didn't pause. But also Velo Yosaf is explained to mean that it's a great voice that never stopped. Meaning, not only did it continue, but it actually penetrated every particle of this physical earth. You know, when we talk about the destruction of the temple as a punishment for the Jewish people's behavior of divisiveness and total disunity and baseless hatred, and we know <clears throat> that this is a time when we have to come together in unity as one. This is a very, very important message. Because though it was a punishment, it's not so much a punishment as God is our loving Father, who's giving us the ability to rehabilitate ourselves and make ourselves even stronger. So the destruction of the temple and the ensuing exile and the diaspora was a hidden blessing for the Jewish people. At one time, we only lived in Israel. After the destruction of the first temple, we spread out a little bit more in Babylonia. But we're still found in very few places. But once the second temple was destroyed, began the true diaspora of the Jewish people. And today, there are Jews everywhere. No matter where I have traveled, and I've traveled to some very distant, remote places, there's always a Jew, or many, that you will find there. Because God spread us around the world. And the purpose of His spreading us around the world is that we should infuse the world with the message of Torah. And very often we ourselves don't even realize how much of that message we carry, our dedication to family, to education, to continuous growth, to finding solutions to problems instead of just wallowing in our issues and problems. And obviously with the clarity of making this world a more moral, godly place. And by spreading us throughout the diaspora, he gave us the tools and now the ability to actually infuse every part of the world, every human being in every area with that sense of purpose and mission and clarity that God is real and he exists and we're all on a mission from him. And this is Kol Gadov Lo Yosef. The voice of God that begun didn't stop. It's continuing through us. Not only in our lives, in our family, in our workplace, but through us to so many other people, Gentiles like Jews, with the clarity that we are all here for a purpose. Our lives matter. Our lives count. And this is really the message of Tisha B'Av as well. That it's in our power to rebuild the temple. But this temple will come after we have finished our work of penetrating the world with our message. And though at times it seems like the message is not penetrating, in reality we see how many of the Jewish ideas and morals, values, have already seeped into every part of society. So yes, it hasn't totally transformed. But 
Today, things can change in a moment. There's no more ideological barrier. There's no more real wall. The walls have all come down. The Berlin Wall, all the walls have come down. There's no real wall that is not allowing the truth to penetrate and be infused. Let's continue doing what we're doing so we rebuild the temple and we'll fulfill what Moses was telling us in this week's portion, that the voice of God never stopped and never stopped penetrating. May Hashem help that we very soon merit the coming of Mashiach, the rebuilding of the temple, all of us together as one. We may disagree, but we still feel as one people, as one family, brother and sister. God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Nachum, the Shabbat of Comfort should be greatly celebrated with joy. We love you all. Candlelighting Time in Montreal, 8.09 p.m.